My name is Lauren Murray. I'm a physical therapist with WellSpan. I work in our Waynesboro office. Um, and then my cohorts, Roxanne Gilmore and Kevin Gilmore, um, who kind of helped with this presentation. They weren't able to be here. They're with patients in the clinic. Um, and they work in our Chambersburg and our Green Castle location. Um, so just a little bit about me. I have been with WellSpan for 11 and a half years. Um, I've been a PT for 11 and a half years. And um, I went to Penn State University, got my undergrad degree, and then went on to the University of Delaware to get my doctorate of physical therapy degree. My kind of my passion is working with with athletes um, of all ages from like, you know, the little itty bitty kids the whole way up to you know, those that are in their 70s and 80s and still they're participating in, you know, recreational activities and hobbies. So um, I played in high school, I played field hockey and soccer. I actually tore both my ACLs um, at separate times while I was playing soccer. So that's sort of how I got into the field and sort of got, you know, my, my passion and my enjoyment for the sports med side of physical therapy. So the, uh, the talk today, week five, I believe, of our virtual wellness series for you guys um, is talking about a proper warm up and, and cool down, which honestly, you know, I understand kind of seems boring. That's not what anybody wants to do when they go out on the field or go to practice or, or just go out for your, your general workout, whether you're going running or you're going to lift or, or whatever. Um, but honestly, there is a, a ton of research out there kind of telling us why it's important to both warm up and cool down and, you know, what's the best way to warm up and what's the best way to cool down so that you get your body ready for, for that, that practice or that game or that match um, without impacting your performance. Because there are, there are some different types of types of warm up, ways to warm up, different stretches, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to keep the presentation fairly short and sweet for you guys tonight, um, this evening, this afternoon, um, and then we'll turn it over to Zach at the end to go through the Monday workout. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen here with you and we'll kind of go through the PowerPoint. Um, if you have questions, we'll turn it over to questions at the end, I believe is how they've been doing it. If you have any questions, write them down. You can do the, the chat thing on Zoom, whatever, whatever works for you. Um, all right, so just give me one second here. I'm going to share my screen. All right. All right, it's loading. Okay. Okay, so basically we're going to talk a little bit today about the warm up and the cool down. Um, again, I'm going to keep it fairly basic for this afternoon. Um, if you have any specific questions, feel free to ask at the end. Um, so objective for you guys today, basically understanding the importance of why you need to warm up and why you need to cool down. Um, discussing the differences between static and dynamic warm ups and static and dynamic stretching, which has it's been a hot topic um, throughout the research in the past. And then just describing a proper warm up and giving you just some basic examples, and then describing a cool down and again giving you some examples with that. So, for the warm up, why do you want to do it? Well, everybody knows you need to warm up, you're going to get your blood pumping, so you your muscles ready to go. But um, there's again a lot of research on, on why and the benefits of the warm up. So one thing that the warm up can actually do is it enhances your performance. Um, and it can increase your speed, it can increase your accuracy, all those kinds of things. Um, and again, all this is research based, which is pretty cool. Um, it also increases blood flow and oxygen delivery to the muscles, which most of us kind of understand that. Preventing injuries is another one, and that kind of goes along with um, getting that increased blood flow and oxygen to the muscles um, to help them, you know, prepare for those more intense sort of explosive movements that we have to do during sport. Um, it also increases heart rate, which again gets your body ready and helps to deliver that blood and, and oxygen to the muscles. But it also provides psychological benefits. So the warm up 
not only gives you that, that physical readiness to participate in sports or participate in a particular workout, but it helps you to kind of get your, you know, yourself basically in the zone um, to kind of get prepared. So it helps control anxiety and improves focus and helps you forget about everything that might have happened that morning or that day or that test you have, you know, tomorrow. It just kind of gets you focused on sort of the task at hand or, or the sport that you're going to do. Um, so the warm up. These are just kind of some definitions and um, I'll explain sort of as we go along. So with the warm up, you have um, a dynamic warm up and that's a lot of what you guys have been doing and um, participating in with was back in the other therapists and um, fitness professionals. Um, so the dynamic warm up basically is a series of movement drills that are performed in a progressive deliberate sequence from low to moderate intensity. Um, so it's not just your standing and touching your toes or jogging a, a, a lap around the field or the track. Um, so it's a dynamic thing that, you know, has a purpose and has specific sort of movements that you're going through. Um, part of the dynamic warm-up is typically dynamic stretching, um, which is performing an active stretch with movement. So it's not, again, it's not just a standing quadricep stretch. It's uh, maybe a, a butt kick or a high knee activity. Um, and, and on the flip side of dynamic stretch is the static stretch. So typically you're not going to um, do a static stretch as part of the warm-up. Um, the research has found that dynamic stretching is actually more effective um, at the onset of, of participation in, in sport or activity. And then the, lastly, the sport-specific warm-up are basically just low-intensity movements that are performed at a high intensity during the sport or the competition. So it's basically taking your body through some of the movements that you're going to have to do during that, that sport or that game. Again, it's all about getting yourself ready, getting your body ready, getting your muscles ready, and allowing you to be, you know, ready to go at 100% when that practice starts or when that game starts. So the benefits of a dynamic warm-up. So I talked about dynamic versus uh, static. The dynamic warm-up, there's kind of three main benefits that have been shown. Um, it actually helps to improve performance in the short term. So they found that a dynamic warm-up can increase strength, speed, power, endurance, flexibility, and accuracy when participating in sport compared to something that's a little bit more dynamic or more static, I'm sorry, or no warm-up at all. Um, again, the, it enhances sport performance, which is kind of similar to the, the point above, and that helps with the power and the increased flexibility. And then there's also a reduction in injury rate with a dynamic warm-up compared with other types of warm-up. Um, so there's some studies that actually show that athletes who warm up prior to the game had a 79% reduced risk of injury, which is, which is really important, especially in my field when I see the injured athlete. So there's kind of two typical phases of the warm-up. There's the general phase, which is basically just your light cardio activity. So whether that's taking a few laps around the field or cycling um, or, you know, a, a brisk walk, whatever, whatever it may be that pertains to your sport. Um, and that typically is about five to 10 minutes for that. And then that's really to get, get the blood flowing, the heart pumping, all those kinds of things. Um, and then you move into your sport specific dynamic stretching. And those are going to be more focused on the movements that you're going to be doing during play. So for instance, if you're a soccer player, you're going to probably want to do, you know, your high knees, your butt kicks, walking lunges, things like that. Versus if you are a volleyball player, you'll probably want to do those, but then also include definitely some things for upper body in, in the mix with that. I'm going to go through some examples here in a second. Um, we're not going to get too detailed. I'm honestly just going to run you through them. Um, basically, you probably, depending on your sport, have done some of these. May, may have not done some. I know some of these you guys are also doing with Zach as well. So um, kind of all comes to the circle. Um, so for lower body, you've got your traditional, your butt kicks, your high knees, your walking lunges. You can do those um, walking lunges with a twist as well. Karaoke, the grapevines, um, Frankenstein's help work on your hamstrings. 
slip and close the gate, heel toe walk, um, walking knee to chest, skipping, um, cherry pickers, you can do inch firm, swing, which is fantastic as well, a walking hamstring stretch, a sideways shuffle. Um, that's just to name a few. There's multiple, multiple different types of stretches, um, dynamic stretches out there. But those are just some of the more popular ones. And then for upper body, um, you got arm circles, hugs, you can do push ups, shoulder rolls, jumping jacks, just sort of going through the, the shoulder motion and no money to help warm up the shoulders and the, the happy. So that kind of gives you the just again really brief overview on on the warm up and why it's important um, and just kind of a, a quick little outline of, of what to do and how to do it and um, typically if you're playing on a team your coach is going to run you through some of those things um, but but here of course when we're not able to participate with our teams or in the off season it's still really important to know how to take yourself through a warm up and a cool down because you don't have somebody there telling you what to do. Um, so you do your warm up, you get yourself all ready to go, you play, you win the game, woohoo, and then you need to cool down. So we all know you do a, you know, if you would do a, a really high level sport, you go on a long run, you do a long bike ride, whatever, whatever, you, if you would just sit down and try to get back up later, you're gonna be stiff, you're gonna be sore, you're gonna feel not great. Um, and, and that's kind of the benefit of a cool down. So the cool down kind of, the benefit is there's kind of three main things that you need to do to, that you need that a cool down will benefit you with. So one is that it helps to remove lactic acid, which is a byproduct of sort of your body working and your muscles doing their thing to help you move around. So that's a waste product. It also reduces post-exercise muscle soreness or that delayed onset muscle soreness that we all hear so much about. Um, and then it helps to bring that heart rate down and allow it to slowly return back to normal, which again, just helps with um, preventing dizziness and, and preventing any cardiovascular issues. Just like the warm up, the cool down also has two phases. So the light cardio phase is five to 10 minutes of jogging or cycling or light swimming or whatever that's going to be uh, and, and a way to kind of bring that heart rate down and, and slow your breathing and kind of get you back into that slowed down mode. Um, and then after you do that kind of like cardio to just sort of bring, bring everything down and back to baseline level, then here's where you're going to do your static stretching. So static stretching is the traditional type stretching that, that everyone thinks of. You count to 30 and you do maybe two to five repetitions, something like that. So after your five to 10 minutes of the light cardio, you want to move into the static stretching and do you know, maybe five to 10 minutes um, of both lower body and upper body stretching. You wanna focus of course on you know, those muscle groups that are the most used during your sport or activity. And then, um, but also stretch those that aren't specific to the sport. Um, you want to hold each stretch about 30 seconds, do each about two to three, two to five times. Um, and just kind of feel if you feel any areas of tightness, you can hold those a little bit longer or, or do an extra stretch to work with it. Um, static stretches for the lower body, again, pretty basic stuff. Your hamstring stretch, calf stretch, um, quadratus, figure four stretch, butterfly stretch, IT band stretch, hip flexor stretch, Again, lots of different ones. And then upper body st static stretching, you can do like the cross body or the posterior coxie stretch here. You can do the tricep stretch overhead. Um, you can do the child's pose basically to stretch out um, kind of through that upper back and shoulder area. A pec stretch and upper chest stretch. Again, here is where, you know, it stretch where you feel tight and that stretch where you have the muscles that you use the most. Um, so that's kind of basically the conclusion of, of all of my sort of basic run through of the warm up and the cool down. Um, there's lots, you know, lots more research out there about which are the most important stretches to do, which, you know, dynamic warm ups activities are better than others, yada, yada, yada. 
Um, but basically, the, the gist is we really want you guys to be doing a proper warm up and a proper cool down because that's going to help with your performance. It's going to help you prevent injuries um, and basically keep you <laughs> keep you guys out of our uh, out of our physical therapy clinic. Um, now. There's lots of other subtopics off of this. I just wanted to touch very briefly on some of these little kind of tools or things that you guys may have seen here, there, and everywhere, heard about, um, read in magazines. Um, so there's all kinds of tools and devices that are out there. These are kind of some of the more hot ones right now. Um, the, the one there at the the top is our is a foam roller, which again a lot of people are doing foam rolling now. You can buy any of this stuff, honestly, most of this stuff on Amazon. Um, there's lots of good programs out there to use foam roller to enhance um, stretching, to enhance both the warm-up and the cool down, depending on, on how you're using them and what purpose you're using them for. Again, a whole other topic that's really interesting, but not kind of we don't really have much time for that. Um, and then the one beside that is um, it's compression therapy. That's a Theragun is, is the brand of that one. Um, basically, it's using um, vibration to kind of get into the muscles to help decrease soreness, tightness. Um, again, you've probably seen these different athletes using them, seen them pictures on Instagram, um, all that kind of stuff. So this stuff's out there. Um, it's being used in the clinic, it's being used by, you know, the elite athletes. Your trainers may or may not have a list of this stuff in the clinic, I'm not sure. Um, but you'll see it, it's out there, so I just wanted to touch on it. And this is more for a uh, recovery standpoint than the cool down as much. Um, but I kind of wanted to include it because it's there. So the next one down at the bottom um, is basically compression therapy. So those are the pneumatic cuffs. They are probably, at this point, like the most widely used um, cuffs. So basically you put them on your arms, your legs, whichever body part you're using, and then it sequentially increases the pressure throughout the, the pump, which helps to, you know, push some of that bad, like the lactic acid and all that kind of stuff, swelling out of the extremities and help increase circulation, um, again, to help with recovery. And then the final one um, is, that's the game ready. There's also cryocuff, there's all different brands and, and devices out there. And that's basically just some compression with, um, with ice. So it's constantly pumping that, that cold through the cuff, um, whichever body part you use. So those are more from a recovery standpoint. Um, not so much of a cool down standpoint, but sometimes recovery and the cool down go one and the same. Um, so the take home points that if you absolutely remember nothing else at all from this presentation, this is kind of what I want you to remember. Um, the proper warm up and cool down are necessary to optimize athletic performance and also prevent injuries. It can improve power, endurance, flexibility, and then also, of course, reduce the injury rate. Warm up think dynamic, cool down, think static. So with the warm up, you want to do your five to 10 minutes of light cardio and then get into your dynamic stretching program or your movement prep, um, which you'll go through with Zach here very shortly. And then your cool down, again, just like you're going to go through um, with Zach, um, you're going to do that five to 10 minutes of sort of a cardio to, to cool your body down, bring everything back down to normal, and then do your static stretching to stretch out this um so any questions i'm gonna go back here out of my screen share all righty hi lauren i got a question for you sure what's up is it important um within a season to do the same warm-up all the time or is it okay to mix it up thanks that's a good question Beth. um it, you can you can mix it up to a degree. Um, you want to keep some things the same because some of the dynamic warm-up activities um, you can also use as training um, activities to help retrain your your landing patterns and your jumping patterns. Um, but it's okay to to switch it up. You don't want to get bored doing some of your some of your warm-up activities or your cool-down activities. Um, 
I find that if you get a good routine that you like or you have a coach that has a you know a good sort of comprehensive warm up and cool down routine that it's sometimes easier to keep it the same because then you don't have to think about it as much and it just becomes kind of a no brainer as part of the activity that you're doing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Lauren, how about um, ideal time frame that we're looking for for an active or warm up and even cool down as well? Um, so in terms of like how soon prior to the sports, is that what you're asking? Yeah, and even, and even in yeah. warm up, I mean, people, I think sometimes people think that it has to take way too long and then right. other times people, you know, rush the warm up process as right. well. So kind of yeah. finding that middle ground. Yeah, I would honestly say, I mean, you want it to be long enough that you have a, have time to get ready and then get your body warmed up, but you don't want to do too much that you're fatigued for whenever it's time to, to play or practice or whatever. Um, so honestly, five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, I'd say probably max. Again, I think it depends. Um, a warm up for practice during a practice, I think could be longer um, because you can incorporate some of those some of those more dynamic activities into the practice itself. Um, but like before a game or a match or a long run or something like that, you probably don't want to do as long of a warm up because you're, you don't want to tire yourself out. But, and then as far as like how soon before the activity you're gonna, you know, to warm up. So you want to warm up and then go into participating in an activity pretty shortly thereafter because if you, you warm up and then you go sit for a while or something like that, you're going to lose all those benefits. Um, so that's sometimes too, that's another reason I didn't mention, but for like at halftime uh, during a game or something, you need to get up off the bench a little bit, do a short job, do a couple of those dynamic activities, again, to kind of warm you up almost like a second type of warm up. Right. I think that's spot on. I think it's also key is finding what works for you. Right. And like you mm -hmm. kind of mentioned about it, it's, it doesn't have to be the same warm up for every, everybody. And if you find something you like and it works for you, stick with it. And I think part of it's just trial and error. Right. Yeah. So, nope. I like it. That's, that's good stuff. Uh, Jess, you got any other questions? Are we any, have any questions in there? I think we're good to go. Thank you so okay. much, Lauren. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Uh, that's obviously such good information and stuff that we harp on all the time, but people don't necessarily spend uh, a lot of time working on themselves. So hopefully after this series and after this education, all the athletes will be will be doing a good warm up and cool down, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. So with that being said, we will go into our warm up. So for today, we have the FIFA 11 plus is what we're going to do today. So um, it's going to be educational, but also if you give yourself some room to work, it's going to go much better. You can certainly scale it down if you don't have, if you're not outside or if uh, you're limited on space, but yeah, try and give yourself some room and should be a good educational piece for what a good full dynamic warm up looks like. And then we're going to end with making, turning into a little bit of a workout, doing our applied metrics series, and we'll go from there. So I'm going to share my screen and we'll get the video rolling. All right, so this is a little bit of what we're gonna do today. The, the top part of the running exercises are cut off at the top, but then this is the strength plyometric part of our warm up. You can see there's three different levels of it. We'll get more in depth with this on our Friday workout, but we wanted to show this right off the bat just to kind of show you what a good full workout program or warm up looks like and 
uh, certainly. The Hello, I'm William Trump. Molina. I went to. You can look it up uh, on your own. There's lots of good information, and kind of like what Lauren talked about too. There's it's research based, which you know you're getting good results. So here we go. We'll uh, get our introduction, then we'll go right into the workout. Hello, I'm William Molina. I went to your car or William Penn Senior High School. Um, I tore my ACL playing in a football game this year, and Dr. Deitch did my surgery, I'm, and I'm doing my rehab at Wellspan. Um, my name's Joe. I do football and track. Um, I tore my ACL. Uh, my surgeon was Dr. Deitch, and I'm doing rehab at Wellspan. Hi everybody, Zach Miller from Wellspan Sports Medicine. Uh, the theme of the week is active warm-ups and cool-downs. So we're going to show you guys a little bit about the FIFA 11 Plus. And we got Will and Joe here that are going to run us through it. And then we're going to end with a little bit of a plyometric series. So you guys ready? Yep. All right, first one, we are starting with straight line running. So first time out, keep it about 75%. And then you can speed it up a little more intensity on the way back. Ready, go. Good, coming back. Good. Getting back in position, we're doing running with our hip out. So we're gonna run, we'll get to the cone, hip coming out, circling around, then switch legs at the next cone. Ready, go. Good, same thing coming back. Good, now we're doing the reverse of that. We're doing hip in, so we're running to the cone. We're gonna start swinging that leg out, close the gate. Nice, strong uh, press coming back down. Ready, go. Good, same thing coming back. Good, next one we got our sprint. We're gonna circle around the cone, sidestep it to the next. So start on the inside to the cone. You're gonna sprint to one cone, circle around, Lateral shuffle over to the other side. Let's have Joe start us off here. Ready, go. We got a circle, side shuffle. Get to the other code and sprint. Good, go ahead. There you go, pick it up, Joe. You got that. Keep going. Good, same thing coming back. Yep, you're good. Go for it, Joe. All right, Will. All right, we can pick up the intensity a little bit our second time on our way back here. Good, finish strong. You're good, you're good. All right, we got our sprint into our squat jump. So you're gonna sprint up to the cone, get in a good position, squat jump coming up, landing, sprint right up to the next cone. You guys ready? And go. Good, controlling that landing. Looks good, guys. Same thing coming back. Starting in three, two, one, go. Nice control landing. Looks good. You got it, Will. Finish strong. 
Good. Last one for this uh, first part of the warm up. We're gonna run to the second cone, back pedal to the first cone, and then run it out. So sprinting out to the second cone, nice control back pedal as soon as we get even with this cone, planting and going. Three, two, one, go. Nice controlled back pedal, stay low, explode out of it, good. Control back pedal, go. Good job. Same thing coming back. Finish strong, get a quick break after this. Ready, go. Looking good, finish strong, Will. Last one, sprint through the finish line. Go, go, go. Good, take a quick 30 second break, grab a drink, get right back to it. Take a quick break and then we will get into that strength and plyometric uh, stationary part of the series that uh, we showed you on the screen before we started. All right, we're going right into our strength, plyometric, and balance portion of the FIFA 11 Plus. We're gonna start in a plank position. So go ahead, just get in a normal plank. Can I have you guys go sideways? Yeah, there you go. Yep, yeah, that's fine. All right, we got a 30 second plank, just a normal plank, starting in three, two, one. Good, we're just locking it in. Get that butt down, keep that core engaged. Halfway there, fight it. There you go, fight through it. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Take a break, you got 10 second rest, then we're going into alternating leg plank. <laughs> Are you ready? Starting in, three, two, one, go. Good, so just lifting one leg up, try and drop those hips down a little lower. There you go, keeping that core tight the whole time. Fight that shake. Finish strong, finish strong. Five, four, three, two, one, good. 10 second break, we're going to a side plank. You got it, drop onto that side, Will. Starting in three, two, one. There you go. Shoulders staying level, spine staying nice and level. That looks good. Fight it, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Switch the other way. Face, uh, go ahead and spin around so you can face the camera. Don't be camera shy. Starting in three, two, one. There you go, that looks good. Keep it locked in, core staying tight. Use those strong hips. More than halfway. Finish strong, we got five, four, three, two, one, good. We're gonna go on to our backs. Need a minute? All right, go right into the back here. 
So we're going our hamstring walkout. So going laying down flat, going into a bridge position. Go ahead and press those hips up towards the sky. Walk those legs out. Nice and controlled. Good. Now bring it back. Good. Hips staying high. Core staying engaged the whole time. Strong glutes, strong hamstrings. Keep it up. Stay strong, last five seconds. Three, two, one. Good, go ahead and hop on up. We got our balance exercise next. Got the baseball here. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're doing single leg balance. We're going to kind of like that single leg RDL, but now we're going to pass the ball through to our right hand, coming back, passing it to the left. Nice and controlled. You boys ready? Yeah. Starting in three, two, one, go. Passing it through. There you go. Nice and controlled. If you lose your balance, that's okay. Coming up nice and high, dropping down nice and low. There you go. Make sure you're engaging those muscles on the leg you're standing on. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Switch legs. Starting in three, two, one. Go. You good? Yeah, you got it. Good, nice and strong the whole time. Try and keep that balance. This is a tough one. I didn't start the clock, so you guys gotta do an extra 30 seconds. No, I'm just kidding, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Take a quick break. All right, two more exercises quick in the series. Now we're doing those squats, coming down into the calf raise at the top. Squat, calf raise at the top, nice and controlled. Starting in three, two, one, go. Nice and controlled the whole time. They're not dropping down into that squat uncontrollably. It looks good. Finish strong. 10 more seconds. One more good rep. Good. We got 10 second break and we're going right into our squat jumps. All right, last one for our strength, plyometric and balance part of the series. We got 30 seconds of squat jumps. We are starting in three, two, one, go. Good job guys, you're controlling that landing on the way down. Keep it up, halfway there. Finish strong here. Good job, Joe. Good job, Will. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, 30 second break. Then we're gonna go right into our running exercises. All right, we got three exercises to end with the running portion of the FIFA 11 Plus. We got straight line running, bounding, which we're gonna do some A skips, and zigzag cuts. Guys, ready? All right, we're starting in three, two, one, go. 
Good, strong coming back. Good, coming back to the start. We got our A skips. Starting in three, two, one, go. Good, if you can try and get a little pop with it. There you go. Same thing coming back. There you go, find that good rhythm. Good, last one, we got our zigzag cuts. So a couple steps out, good cut and plant on the outside foot, good change of direction. Going back the other way. Starting in three, two, one, go. Good, plant on that outside foot. There you go. Same thing coming back. There you go. Plant on that outside foot, change direction. Good job, take a quick break, then we're gonna go right into our plyometric series. All right, we'll give you time to take a quick break here and grab a drink and then grab those props for our plyometric series. So if you use a pair of shoes or whatever you can use as some cones, and we got two rounds of our uh, plyometric series. All right, right into our plyometric series. We got 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So make sure you're paying attention. As Joe's resting, I'm gonna be showing you the next exercise. So pay attention, it's gonna be fast paced. First one, we're doing a stutter step with lateral hops. So your stutter step, jump it over, right back into it. And we're starting up in 10 seconds. So get in position. We are starting in five, four, Three, two, one, go. Good, start your step, lateral hop, there you go. Halfway there. Good, controlling it the whole way. Three, two, jump over. Good. 10 seconds, and we'll do the same thing coming from the other side. Good, loud, hot, there you go. Good. Halfway there. You're good, finish strong. Three, two, one, rest. Good job, 10 seconds rest, we got in and out shuffle. 
Get to the left, arms involved. Three, Three two, two, one, go. Yeah, find that rhythm, that looks good. Nice arm movement, nice and natural. Halfway there. Looking good job. Good job, we're gonna spread them out. We got our skater hops. Nice control, reach out, touch the cone. Three, two, one, go. Controlling that landing the whole time. Take your time with it, that's all right. Good. Halfway there. Looks good, keep it up, finish strong. Good, we got our burpees with our lateral hop. So burpee coming down, coming up, lateral hop coming over. Two, one, go. Good, you don't have to throw that push up in there. Yeah, that's good there. Good, keep it up. Halfway there. Fight through it, looking good. Good, we're leaving the cones there. We're doing low lateral hops over and back. Doing good, buddy. Three, two, one, go. Good, take your time with it. Both feet landing at the same time. Halfway there. Go, you're killing it, Joe. Keep it up. We got four back hops. Try not to crash the cones just like I just did. Three, two, one, go. Go, we only got two more exercises after this in this round. You got it. Halfway there. Looking good. Killing it, buddy. Keep it up. Good job. This cone's getting set back up. We got our stutter steps to single leg stick. Three. Two more exercises. One. Go. Good. Stick that landing on that outside leg. That looks good. Halfway there. Very strong. Good, same thing, but we got inside foot tap. Last one of this round, you got it. Three, two, Make your best one. Go. Tap that inside foot down, good. Get those feet up over those cones. There you go. Find that good rhythm. There you go, keep it up. Good, we got one minute rest, so we're jumping right back into round two. Good job, we'll take a quick minute break here, and then we got that same uh, four and a half minute plyometric series. So this time through, maybe uh, focus on controlling those movements a little more, sticking those landings, just making it a little more crisp, and controlling those movements. We got tough four or five minutes to end, then we'll end with a good cool down and we'll uh, have our good workout complete for the day. Fast pace. First one, we're doing the stutter step with lateral hops. So your stutter step, jump it over, right back into it. And we're starting up in 10 seconds. So get in position. We are starting in five, four, three, two, one, go. Good, stutter step, lateral hop, there you go. Good. 
start controlling it the whole way. Three, two, over. Good. 10 seconds and we're doing the same thing coming from the other side. Good, loud, hot. There you go. Good. Halfway there. You're good and strong. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. 10 seconds rest. We got in and out shuffle. Get the left arms involved. Three, Three two, one, go. go. Yeah, find that rhythm, that looks good. Nice arm movement, nice and natural. Halfway there. Looking good job. Three, two, one, rest. Good job, we're gonna spread them out. We got our skater hops. Nice control, reach down, touch the cone. Controlling that landing the whole time. Take your time with it. That's all right. Good. Halfway there. Looks good. Keep it up. Finish strong. Three, two, one. Rest. Go. We got our burpees with our lateral hop. So burpee coming down, coming up. Lateral hop coming Three, over. Two, Good, you don't have to throw that push up in there. Yeah, that's good there. Good, keep it up. Halfway there. Fight through it, looking good. Three, two, one, rest. Good, You're leaving the cones there. We're doing a little lateral hops, over and back. Doing good, buddy. Three, Good. Take your time with it. Both feet landing at the same time. Halfway there. Three, two, one, rest. Go, you're killing it, Joe. Keep it up. We got forward, back hops. Try not to crash the codes just like I just did it. We got two more exercises after this in this round. You got it. Halfway there. Looking good. Killing it, buddy. Keep it up. Three, two, one. Rest. Good job. Cones getting set back up. We got our stutter steps to single leg stick. Three. Two more exercises. Good, stick that landing on that outside leg. That looks good. Halfway there. Very strong. Two, one, rest. Good, same thing, but we got inside foot tap. Last one of this round, you got it. Three, two. Thank you, best one. Tap that inside foot down, good. Get those feet up over those cones. There you go. Find that good rhythm. There you go, keep it up. All right, 30 seconds break and then we're gonna go right into the cool down. All right, right into our cool down. We got our downward dog into our prone press up into our child's pose, you ready? All right, let's walk it out. Intro, I'm coming down. 
Good. We're going pressing back in that downward dog. Hips towards the sky. Coming down. Prone press up. Go rock it back in that child's pose. Go right back in that downward dog. Hips up. Pressing those heels into the ground. That looks good. Rocking it down into that prone press up. Sitting it back in a child's pose. Good breathing the whole time in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more time through that. Downward dog. Press those hips up. Good. Prone press up. Rock it back into the child's pose. Good deep breath. Let it relax into it. Good, we got our pigeon stretch. We're gonna throw one leg forward. Back leg's coming out straight. Try and relax into it. You can get a little forward lean if you need a deeper stretch. And a couple good deep breaths. One more good deep breath into the nose. Good exhale. Good, we'll switch legs. Left leg coming out in front. Back leg's coming back straight. Deep breathing. Feel all right? Mm -hmm. How's that feeling? Good. A little tight? Not bad. A little tight. One more good deep breath. Good exhale. Fall into it a little deeper. Good job. All right, let's go into our kneeling lunge here. We're gonna get that hip flexor stretch. So, one leg out in front. Try and go come out a little farther with that front leg. There you go. Go ahead and tuck those pelvis, the pelvis underneath you. Little forward lean, feel that good stretch. Come up tall, arm up overhead, and we're gonna rock to the side. One more good deep breath. Go switch sides. Good, feel that good stretch. Tuck the pelvis up underneath you. Good, arms coming up overhead, rock to the side. Two good deep breaths. And then, good job. All right, right into our breath of stretch, my favorite stretch. We're going laying down flat. We're start with our right leg coming up, let it fall to the side. Grab it with our left arm. Try to reach our leg back and relax into it. Might feel a nice little crack in your back like me. One more good deep breath. Go ahead, switch that other side. Left leg coming up. Grabbing it with your right arm. Pull that other leg back. Deep breath. Go hop on up. Last one, we're gonna stretch the chest and shoulder out. We got our reverse prayer stretch. So arms are gonna try and come back. We're gonna try and touch those palms together. Look at that, Joe's got that one. Squeeze, stand out nice and tall. Yeah, you got it. Good stretch. Some little neck circles with it. Loosen up. One more good deep breath. Good strong exhale. Good job. All right, everybody, that was our FIFA 11 focus workout. Good work, everyone, and we'll see you on Wednesday. All right, everyone, good work. That was, so minus the plyometric series at the end there, the last 10 minutes. Definitely the purpose of that video, too, is to show you a good full 15-minute warm-up, proper way to do it. And um, obviously, we've been focusing on, on those dynamic warm-up and cool-down the whole series. So can't stress the importance, importance of that. Thank you, Lauren, for coming and giving us some education about it. Uh, tomorrow, we got the coach's education. Wednesday, we got another fun workout. And then Friday, we have a fun workout that kind of uses the phase one, two, and three of the FIFA 11 
to put us through a, a good, good full 30 minute workout. So um, have a good evening and we'll see you guys on Wednesday.